In more than 20 years of practicing medicine, I've collected interesting facts about your body. Join me on a tour head to toe of Your Body is Interesting. Bringing us to your mouth, uh, starting with the tongue. Um, the strongest muscle in your body uh, relative to its size is your tongue. Uh, incidentally, the tongue of a blue whale is larger than most elephants. Uh, it's got to be a strong tongue. The tongue is unusual in that it is uh, attached uh, only at one end. Most muscles go from, say, your arm to your forearm, and then when it contracts, it bends the hinge, your elbow. But the tongue is only anchored at one side and free at the other. 85% of people are able to furl their uh, tongue uh, along its length, forming a tube. Even fewer are able to also bend their tongue uh, both along its length and across, uh, forming a clover. See if you can do that. Did you know that in France, uh, what we call a French kiss is actually called an American kiss? Bringing us to uh, teeth, um, the reason your wisdom teeth are called that is the Greeks uh, believed that uh, wisdom was a virtue of adulthood, and since uh, those teeth uh, sprout uh, during adolescence, uh, they called them the wisdom teeth. Your uh, upper canines uh, are called the eye teeth uh, because of the false belief uh, historically that the nerve that went to your eyes uh, also was the one that branched and served uh, your canine teeth. If I, you should have an old filling, uh, if you were to chew on aluminum foil, um, the interaction between the two metals actually generates electricity and you get it tingling inside your mouth. Now, uh, handedness is the common uh, association between the lateralization of your brain and any of its consequences. Uh, in other words, right-handed people versus left-handed people. But actually, it continues from there. Um, people who are right-handed are right chewers, and they chew on the right side of their mouth. Uh, and left-handed people tend to favor the left side of their mouth when they chew.